and it's hard. It's really hard, y'all, like. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Moni Sierra. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. And if you don't already know me, my name is Monique. I'm a military wife. We're stationed in Grafenville, Germany. And if you are into vlogs, hauls, reviews, natural hair, mm, and a little bit of military stuff, then you come to the right place. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. You won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time and you do not want to miss it. Also, comment down below on other things y'all want to see and I'll most definitely get into it. Today, I wanted to make a video, um, an inform informative video, um, about how I'm doing in Germany, um, mentally, physically, emotionally, all of this stuff. So, um, I wanted to talk about it with you guys and um, just give y'all an update. Okay, um, so basically, um, everybody that I talk to, they know that Germany is locked down. Not like back in the U.S. how people are able to go to restaurants, go to um, clubs, stuff like that. You can't do that here, sis. No, you can't. Everything. I mean, everything is closed. It's been like that since I've been here, bruh. Um, we have days, we have a week maybe where they open up a nail shop like I had got my nails done about two weeks ago and they just closed the shit back down so I can't even get a refill. This one broke. Like y'all see that? It's broken shit. I can't even go get a new uh, refill or anything because they closed them all down. And a lot of places, if you are not COVID, COVID um, vaccinated, then you need a negative test to get in all the stores. So if you want to go to a hardware store or something like that, you have to go get a COVID test. Um, and the COVID test only lasts for 24 hours. So say you used to get it today, you can only go to a store tomorrow around this time. Um, and after that, you'll have to go get another one. You can't go to the same place and get a COVID test. I mean, you can, but you'll have to pay 25 euro. So it's only one free a week. And that's very frustrating for everybody. Um, and it's, it's like depressing as fuck, y'all. Like, y'all just don't know. My mindset was when Daniel came here in 2019, um, I was like, Okay, the good thing about it is we'll be able to travel, we'll be able to um, do stuff, even go out to dinner at least. But nah, it, first of all, it, it took me a year to get here. Um, you know, COVID started May 2020, I mean May, March 2020, and I didn't get here until September 2020. So, it took me a whole year. Um, that's one thing that I do regret. I wish that we got married before he joined the military. Then I would have been here September 2019 with him. Um, so we were not able to do anything. They're supposedly opening up the borders soon. Um, and they finally, they're starting to lift. Like if you're fully vaccinated, you're able to go to stores and stuff without COVID tests, stuff like that. But the things that I want to do, like go to a bar, maybe to a club, that type of stuff, because bitch, I'm young, I'm 23. I want to go turn up sometimes. I don't want to be in the house all the time. You feel me? I mean, I'm a homebody now, but I do want to go out maybe one weekend and just have fun. You feel me? So that's like emotionally draining for me. Um, and then my husband, he's been gone since April 1st. Today is the 29th. He comes back on the 15th. So he was gone for a good 45 days. Well, he will be gone for 45 days. And being here in Germany and um, not being able to do nothing, depressing. 
depressing. When you're here by yourself and you don't have nobody, it's depressing. I have a couple of friends, yeah, but we can't do anything but just sit in the house and get drunk. We can go visit castles and stuff, but that stuff gets dead after a while. And you have a lot of suicide thoughts and you'd be like, is it even worth it? Like, why am I here? Like, you just go through a lot of thoughts, you know? And it's hard. It's really hard, y'all. Like, I was telling my mom, like, I was on the phone with my husband. And I just started breaking down, like, this is really depressing. And I wasn't believing him when I wasn't here for the whole year. He was depressed. He didn't want to be here. None because he didn't have nobody, bro. It's like you have people that you could talk to here, but it's not the same affection. Like you need like love and affection, and you need you need family. And I'm freaking 4,500 miles away from my family, and I'm here by myself. And it's like it's so depressing, bro. It is. Like, we leave here September 2022. So we have about a year and about five months left. And I'm so happy. I never thought I would be so happy to leave. I don't want to go back to Chicago, but I'm happy to fucking leave here, bro. Like, it's so freaking depressing. Like, anybody can vouch for me. All my friends that are here can vouch. We are so tired of being here and not being able to do nothing at all that's basically how I'm feeling emotionally like I literally sit here and I cry bro I cry and I've been trying my best to be strong like <sighs> there's days when I don't think about nothing my mind be so blank I don't think about nobody. I just be in this dark hole because I'm here. But you gotta deal with it, bro. You have to, you have to. I know I have people to live for and I can't go back to how I was four years ago when I almost committed suicide. I can't do that. I'm stronger than that. But y'all just don't know how deep it is, okay? I'd be damned if we stayed here longer than next year, bruh. I cannot. I will come home and I just I just can't do it. I can't. I can't. I thought I was gonna have fun. I thought I was gonna be able to travel to Amsterdam, Paris. All that stuff that I said in my previous videos before I got here, ain't none of that happening. Dealing with depression. What do I do to deal with, with it? I talk to friends from back home. They give me company. I play games. Play on my PlayStation. I, I, I have one of my bad habits is drinking. I don't drink every day. I probably drink maybe twice out the week but I want it to be no times out the week and when I drink I just I feel better like I'm happy but now that I'm for the physical side of me now that I'm gonna get bariatric surgery next week I can't be drinking like that anymore so I'm trying to drift away from it so that that leads to my physical side my physical side, so I will be getting BSG, which is vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, and basically, that is when they go inside your stomach and they cut about 80% of your stomach. So that makes you eat less and stuff like that. And you lose weight at a rapid pace. Um, and I'm gonna take y'all on my journey. Um, I'm gonna make a vlog. I, I am getting my surgery. At Clinic Mono in Izmir, Turkey. Okay, 
Um, I paid it out of pocket. I didn't want to uh, use my insurance because it's a six month process and I didn't feel like going through that. I've been doing a lot of research for the past three years. So um, I am getting it, okay? And it's cheaper here, of course, than it is in the US. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do it. This um, clinic has good reviews. So I was like, I'm going go ahead and do what I gotta do, okay? I've been wanting to get this for so long. But the first time I did, tried to do it, I chickened out. But this time I'm going for it, y'all. Um, it's gonna be a difficult journey for the first few months, I know for sure. But I'm gonna take y'all there with me. Um, I know I, I would have to, um, I have to change my diet up, which I have been working on that for the past month or two. So um, I'm getting some places like I've completely took out pop because I know carbonated drinks affect with your stomach while you're um, healing. I know well, it can fuck with you after, period. Um, I have been drinking more water because I know I have to stay hydrated while I'm in the surgery. But wow, wow. I am healing and stuff like that and just on and on period. I'm starting to take vitamins more because that's one thing that you need. You need to take vitamins for the rest of your life now, which is okay with me because as a person, I feel like you should take vitamins anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's the only thing that's making me happy right now is I am able to travel to Turkey to get my surgery um i won't be able to go explore turkey but at least i know i'm going somewhere to get something done that i've been wanting to get done the only thing that i think about is my loose skin i know i'm have a lot of loose skin under my arms on my stomach my stomach is my problem area i am going to do it y'all and i'm so excited um, my starting weight is 310 and I my end weight I want to be at at least 180 at least but I could do like 150 but I don't want to be that fucking skinny y'all I want to be thick I want a hourglass figure you feel me so I think 180 would be just right for me um but that could take time I know within like the first six months I could lose about 80 pounds depending on how I diet and how my body is set I should be okay so yeah I'm gonna take y'all there with me so that's how I'm doing physically and I can't fucking wait surgery is May 10th y'all and back to the emotional stress I just don't understand the US is opening up and um their cases are smaller than what's going on here and they're open but then here we're closed and our cases are still rising that doesn't make sense it doesn't at all like i'm not understanding this at all like i don't know if they want us to just stay depressed they want us to fucking have suicidal thoughts and want us to kill ourselves but that ain't cool it's not i hope that everything open up soon um y'all know that i'm supposed to be going to london for my birthday in september period we got four and a half more months period and i seen that london is starting to open up so i can't wait for that <laughs> four more months um so I hope that everything opens up at my birthday because I'm be fucking hurt. I already paid for my trip, but I could push it forward if I wanted to. But I want to do it on my fucking birthday. The fuck? I just want to give y'all an update on myself. Um, I don't really be talking to people much about how I'm feeling because I don't want to break down. I don't. But I just felt like it was good for me to tell you guys and just show y'all how me and plenty of other wives or soldiers are doing right now the single soldiers like i we me and my husband has a friend here from that we went to high school with 
we don't really talk to him, I guess. I don't know why, but I'm sure he's going through it too. I'm gonna check on him. But it's really depressing, bro. My husband makes me feel so much better when he's here. I hate when he has to leave me. It's so hard, but you gotta push through it, girl. You gotta push through it, okay? Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. You won't regret it. Turn notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you don't want to miss it. Comment down below on things y'all want to see. And I'll most definitely do it. And it's a further ado. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I just be rolling, cause it be toting. Driving my car like it's stolen. All of my weed it be potent. Have you floating? Catch a bit sucking and choking. All of this weed I be talking, you know I be smoking. All of my diamonds be frozen. I start work through the night. Got your girl and she won't pipe. But she gotta stay one night. Fuck it, she just on light. Put the lean, no ice. Fuck it, fuck green, no wife. Only fear God that's right. And I might take your life. Make a nigga see the light. Make a nigga have no life. Stay real sharp like a knife. Always keep a big pipe. I only sleepless nights.